The AS1 seismometer system is actually quite simple. It involves a base that's held up by three uh, screws for leveling. There's a coil mounted on the base with a wire coming out that'll go to the um, amplifier and computer. It's got a mast and a boom. The boom has a knife edge on one side. This washer is for damping. There's a magnet here on this end and some washers here for extra weight. And this is going to be held in this groove and it's actually held up by a spring that goes diagonally. One thing before we get that far along, you want to be sure on your AS1 that all of these nuts are as tight as possible so there's no play in any of these points where there's a nut and bolt. And these all seem pretty tight. The other thing is be sure that the washer is as low as possible. I have the, the bolt starting at the bottom and going up through. The washer is all the way down at the bottom and there's very little of this uh, bolt sticking through the nut at the top. So the washer is as low as possible. The spring just hooks in. First to hook the spring into the little attachment points. Then carefully slide the knife edge on the boom into the mast. And you may need to put, you, it's good to put a little bit of oil, just a tight, tight, tiny amount of oil on this knife edge. Now, the magnet has to go past the coil without rubbing or touching at all. And you can make slight adjustments here. The other kind of adjustment you can make, in my case, the, magnet, the coil can come a little bit my way. I'm just going to give a little bit of a torque, slightly bend that bracket. You, know, you want to make sure that there's space between this magnet and coil. If there's any, even the slightest touching, it may seem that it's working. It will work for large, huge vibrations, but it really won't record any earthquakes if there's any contact between the magnet and the coil. The boom is slid over maybe about a millimeter or so in motion movement this way to keep it, keep it uh, exactly uh, aligned properly so the magnet is aligned properly with respect to the coil. Slide the dish of uh, oil. That's the damping oil. In this case, this is the thin spring. It's uh, one-third STP and two-thirds 10W40. For a thicker spring, you'll use half and half STP oil treatment and um, 10W40 oil. Then, now the next thing we have to do, well actually we didn't do the leveling. We want to level across the boom this direction first, or the base first, and so I'm going to come up a little bit there. Okay, then adjust the base in this long direction using this screw here. Okay, that's adjusted. Then we want to adjust the boom itself. Now in this case, the boom is too high. It's got to come down a little ways. And partly it can come down with a little bit of extra weight here just caused by this uh, level bubble, which we'll leave right there on the boom. But it needs a little bit more weight, so I'm adding a washer back here. and I'll just slide the washer along. It's too far until it's in the right position to make this boom level. Now we're all set up. We add a cover. The cover is important because it blocks any air drafts. And in the cover, we've got a little bit of a groove here for the wires to come out. Now we're ready to go. We're ready to attach the AS1 to the amplifier and the computer.